Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now today we have Curtis Martin through the years. We have a couple of running backs coming up at the Curtis Martin like Tiki Barber, Warwick Dunn, and Willis McGahee. So be on the lookout for those. Now, when we kick things off in Madden 97, there is no overall as you can see. So 69 speed, 75 agility, 62 acceleration, 67 awareness, and 60 speed was considered pretty high back in Madden 97. Now when we look at his rookie numbers from the 1995 season they look like this he played in 15 or he started 15 games but he played in all 16 he ran the ball 368 times for 1487 yards 14 tds averaging four yards per carry and averaging 92.9 yards per game when we get to his 1996 numbers which will be for madden set madden 97 we see that he ran the ball 316 times for 1152 yards 14 tds averaging 3.6 yards per carry and 72 yards per game as we move on to madden 98 that's not a typo he is 181 overall. The highest running back was Barry Sanders at 185 overall. So he was tied for the fourth highest overall as running backs with Emmitt Smith at 181 overall. And Jay Rice was the highest overall player at 189. 88 speed, 92 agility, 54 catch, 82 carry. And he also comes in with an 86 for his break tackle. His numbers for this season look like this. He played in 13 games, ran the ball 274 times for 1,160 yards, 4 TDs, averaging 4.2 yards per carry and 89.2 yards per game. So after Madden 98, he is now a member of the New York Jets in Madden 99, where he is 87 overall, 87 speed, 88 agility, 87 acceleration, 64 catching, 64 carry, 88 break tackle. And if you haven't seen the football life Curtis Martin, it really tells you why he joined the Jets after the, the New England Patriots. It really wasn't to get back at the Patriots, it more so had to do with the fact that he liked Coach Parcells, and he did have a lot of respect for owner uh, Kraft of the New England Patriots, so it wasn't like he was trying to backstab the Patriots or anything like that. Moving on to his numbers for the 1998 NFL season. He ran the ball a total of 369 yards for 1,287 yards. Also had a grand total of 8 TDs. He averaged 3.5 yards per carry and 85.8 yards per game. Moving on to Madden 2000. Curtis Martin is 84 overall with 84 speed, 86 agility, 86 acceleration, 62 catch, 82 carry, and he also comes in with an 89 break tackle rating. You see me right there with the little makeshift spin move, and he's still fighting for the extra yards. Anyways, man, as you look at his numbers for the 1999 NFL season, they look like this. Curtis, my favorite Martin, ran the ball a grand total of 367 times for 1,464 yards, which so far is the second highest total. He also had five TDs, averaging four yards per carry and 91.5 yards per game. And then right here, you see him put his hand in the dirt and turn up field and pick up a big first down. Now, now it's time to move on to Madden 2001 Next Gen. Back then on the PS2, a Curtis, my favorite Martin, comes in at 91 overall with 89 speed, 82 agility, 92 acceleration, 64. 4 for his catch, 87 carry, and he also comes in with a 92 break tackle. His numbers look like this. Played in all 16 games, ran the ball 316 times for 1,204 yards, 9 TDs. He also averaged 3.8 yards per carry and then 75.3 yards per game. So as you check out the replay, you can see him get away from that would-be tackler to get into the end zone. Touchdown, J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. Moving on to Madden 2002, where once again, Curtis Martin comes in at 91 overall with 86 speed, 87 agility, 91 acceleration, 80 for his catch, 94 for his carry, 89 for his break tackle. So Curtis Martin, he is just consistently always one of the better backs in the league, even though he might not always be a fan favorite if you're not a Jets fan because he wasn't the most flashiest, wasn't all about himself, wasn't a rah-rah kind of guy. But as we look at his numbers, they look like this. Started all 16 games. He ran the ball 333 times for 1,513 yards, which is a career high so far. He also had 10 TDs, averaging 4.5 yards per carry, and then 94.6 yards yards per 
game and it seems like his averages per game always go up and then down 92 to 72 89 to 85 91 73 then back up to 94 so again he would always bounce back and again it seems like teams might have under underestimated him because again he wasn't the most flashiest running back at the time maybe you can't even say that he was the best running back any particular year that he was in the league so i think that had a lot to do with the fact that you know his averages went up and down so much and weren't really that consistent throughout his whole career as they were dip 10 to 15 yards each and every year go back up 10 to 15 yards and as you saw right there in 2k2 he was 91 overall again moving on to madden 03 he comes in at 93 overall 86 speed 90 agility 91 acceleration 83 for his catch 95 carry and then he also comes in with a 90 break tackle rating as we move into his real life numbers they look like this he played in all 16 games ran the ball 261 times for 1094 yards 7 tds averaging 4.2 yards per carry and 68.4 yards per game so again right there breaking the tackle getting into the end zone then he loses his helmet oh my gosh yo madden i'm begging ea i'm begging nfl i'm begging can we have some helmets fly off please <laughs> but anyways man again you can see his per game average dip by about 20 yards moving on to nfl 2k3 where he is 95 overall with 83 speed 88 agility 98 for his vision 65 for his catch 93 for his carry then he comes in with a 90 break tackle and right here he kind of looked like work done a little bit with that face mask he did have that face mask i believe for a year or two with the jets i know he had that for the majority of his time with the new england patriots don't really don't really remember him you know rocking that pacifier mouthpiece but i'm not complaining because i love the look of that i love the player models and stuff like that even though 2k3 compared to 2k4 and 2k5 the players did seem a little bit more clunky if you will but that's just my opinion as you see Curtis martin take it down the sideline gonna try to run a man i believe that's the key of spikes that he puts his shoulder into but now it's time to move on to madden 2004 where Curtis Martin comes in at 91 overall yet again 88 speed 86 agility 87 acceleration 75 for his catch 96 for his carry and then he also comes in with a 89 break tackle rating so his numbers from 2k to Madden are pretty similar so far they might change in a minute or two but anyways man as you look at his real life numbers once again he played in all 16 games ran the ball 323 times for 1308 yards just two tds averaging four yards per carry but averaged 81 1.8 yards per game and then right there the titans defense didn't know what to do with him he went this away went back that away and he was able to take it to the crib basically untouched moving on to warren sap on the cover of espn for 2k4 where curtis martin comes in at 86 overall 84 speed 85 agility 51 strength 59 for his catch 99 carry and then an 80 break tackle now we are almost done with my man's video it seemed like his career was here and then gone and then all of a sudden he pops up in the in the nfl hall of fame and i knew that he was a hall of fame player i didn't think he was gonna get in that quick but when you look at his career numbers you can see why he did become i believe he was a first ballot hall of fame nominee for our man curtis martin and right there too much speed even though he's not the fastest guy the safety in the linebacker, you're not going to catch Curtis Martin from behind. But when we look at his next year's number, he actually did something that was pretty remarkable. And I'm going to get to that in a second as we check out the replay. Bounces to the outside, has nothing but green grass in front of him. And Curtis Martin is gone. Touchdown, J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. But let's move on as he waves hi to mama <laughs> to Madden 2005 where Curtis Martin comes in at 88 overall with 87 speed, 82 agility, 88 acceleration, 76 catch, 96 carry, and an 85 break tackle rating. Now, when we look at his real life numbers, here they are. He started all 16 games, played in all 16 games, ran the ball a league high 371 times for a league high one. 1,697 yards, 12 TDs. His longest run that season was 25 yards. He led the league in rushing with his highest total run, or his longest run of just 25 yards. That is incredible because that just shows how consistent he was throughout his whole career. Every single year of his career so far, he's rushed for over 1,000 yards. 
25, again, 25 was his longest carry. He also averaged 4.6 yards per game, and he also averaged one oh, per carry, excuse me, 4.6 yards per carry and 106.1 yards per game. Moving on to ESPN NFL 2K5. 78 overall for Curtis Martin, 84 speed, 80 agility, 51 strength, 56 for his catch, 99 for his carry, and then he also comes in with a 72 break tackle rating. So we only have one game left in his career. Kind of reminds me of Maurice Jones-Drew because this was the year that he led the league in rushing. He's going to come back at with in Madden with a huge rating boost, if you will, and then all of a sudden he gets injured and then he retires. Kind of like my man Maurice Jones-Drew. He led the league in rushing and then had a bad year in Jacksonville, finished off his career in Oakland, and it was kind of similar. Not saying that they're the same backs because when we look at his career numbers, they are freaking phenomenal. Talking about Curtis Martin. So as you check out the replay, he's going to head to the right side, follow his blocks, cut up field, and get into the end zone. And of course, he played his college ball in Pittsburgh. So he's 95 overall in Madden 06, 89 speed, 89 agility, 92 acceleration, 79 catch, 98 carry, 88 break tackle. His final year in the NFL, his numbers look like this. Played in 12 games, ran the ball 220 times for 735 yards, 5 TDs, average 3.3 yards per carry, and 61.3 yards per per game so when we look at his real life numbers for his whole career they look like this he carried the ball 3,518 times for 14,101 yards nine TDs his longest touchdown run was a 70 yarder back in his third season he also had a career average per carry of four yards per carry four yards for the Jets Four yards for the Patriots. He also averaged a grand total of 83.8 yards per game for the Jets, 84.4 yards for the Patriots, giving him a grand total of 83.9 yards for his whole career. Again, just consistent. Now, this has a lot to do with the fact that Madden 98 had a huge, huge rating boost, if you will, but he is 96.2 overall for his career as a football character, and of course, that's Madden 98 through Madden 06 because Madden 97 did not have a overall. But that's going to wrap it up. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, I enjoy bringing it to you. I hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day. Until next time, peace. Hot sauce.